Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Now, you're probably wondering, what is in this box? Well, this box contains one of the next gen PBXs from Grandstream. That's right, the 6300 series that everybody has been waiting for. So, what do you get in the box? This is not like an unboxing. You do get a quick install guide, you get a copy of the GPL license, you get two power adapters. This does have redundant uh, power, it is also PoE powered. You get an Ethernet cable, and then of course, you get this sweet, sweet, sweet PBX. So, Grandstream came out with the 6300 series, and what they did was you now have the 6301, the 6302, the 6304, and the 6308. The in the 6200 series, the only rack mounted model model was the 6208. And of course we have the 6510, but that is a different, a different beast altogether. So in the 6300 series, both the 6204 and the 6208 are rack mounted. This is a 6204. This is for a client. This is that uh, uh, I'm gonna be configuring that this this week and shipping it out. You can see now that the uh, tag with the password and all that is on the top instead of the bottom. So that's good. The um, unit itself, you no longer have the ability to remove the rack ears. So on the, the four and the eight, the rack ears are built into the device. But man, it is a great looking piece of hardware. Over here, we've got the LCD. We've got the down arrow and the okay there let's see if we can get this to focus and so there's that that lcd screen you got your buttons then over here are all your indicator lights for all of your fxs ports your fxo ports uh, let's see there's also a heartbeat so all of the 6300 series can now um, be used in high availability mode with an ha100 um, and so you can see they all have a heartbeat port even the 6301 now has a heartbeat port We've got that network port. We've got the WAN port if you're going to use this. Then you've got two ports for your, or two lights for your um, your AC adapters or DC adapters. And then you've got the SD card slot here. And then you've got two USB ports. Once again, the rack mount is built into it. We flip it over and they've done some really nice color coding. So you can see your FXS and your FXO channels are physically a different color, which is brilliant. There you've got your heartbeat port, you've got your network port, and then your WAN port if you're running this in WAN mode. Then you've got your two DC slots, you've got your reset, and of course you have your grounding lug. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, if you um, work in the 6200 series, you know that when you plug those in out of the box, they are in route mode. Well, we talked to Grandstream and these now are supposed to be in switch mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go plug this in, get it on the network, get an IP. We're gonna look over the specs real quick and look at the difference obviously between this and the 6204. And then I'm gonna show you the uh, interface on this. So I'll be right back. All right, so here I have the data sheet for the 6300. So the 6200 is not end of life. It is still very valid, and I would say it will fit the bill for probably 95% of everything that everyone wants to do with an on-prem PBX. So even if you're looking for remote phones, we have a solution for that that works with the 6200 series. Now the 6300 series does offer another option, um, so here we go, looking at the 6300 series, here you can see the one, the two, the four, and the eight, right? So the one and the two are the really nice, and I have uh, my Grandstream 6302 right here. This is mine. 
Um, so you can see that it's a different it's a different format, and you don't have any mounting capabilities as far as rack mount. I think they might be coming out with a with a, an adapter for this, or we can just put it on a shelf. Either way, you can definitely see that we have that difference. Now, one of the things that is different about the 6300 series is you can use it with UCM Remote Connect. And that allows you, along with the Wave app and any Grandstream phone, to actually connect to the PBX through NAT and without exposing ports, right? So it's a very secure way to get your remote phones connected to your PBX. Now you do, for that remote connect, you have to have the 6300 series. Like I said, we do have a way to do it with OpenVPN on the 6200 series, but the 6300 series actually supports the remote connect uh, option. Now also, these 6300 series are gonna have faster processors and they are based on Asterisk 16, whereas the 6200 series is based on Asterisk 13. Um, it is compatible with GDMS uh, Cloud. There's also an on-prem version coming, which means you can push firmware, take backups, and things like that right through a web browser instead of logging in the device. But because of GDMS and uh, the Remote Connect and the way that they're doing this, if it is uh, linked to GDMS, you can actually pull up the management interface once again, without having it exposed to the internet. So think about that. So the 6304 that we're looking at obviously has four FXS and four FXO ports. It's got the, uh, it's got three gigabit ports. So one would be WAN, one would be LAN, and then one is that heartbeat port. Um, let's see. We already talked about you know, uh, USB and all that good stuff. What we want to know, so here are all of the, the well, not all, but what they wanted to highlight is the voiceover packet capabilities. So just, just so you know, when they showed this off, this device is supposed to be able to handle up to a 50% packet loss and still keep the conversation going. How that works they tried to explain it and i didn't i didn't quite get there but we are definitely going to test that um, here are all the codecs and obviously not only are they pushing conferencing video conferencing is also a huge part of the ucm platform once again zero config allows you to can to literally zero touch config any grand stream phone that that can connect to this now, what I was looking for, here we go. Um, maximum call capacity. So on the 6304, you can have 2,000 users and you can have 300 G711 codec concurrent calls. If you're using um, secure RTP, which is obviously encrypted, then using G711, you can have 200 concurrent calls with this device. You can have eight video conference rooms and up to 60 parties with 1080p, uh, assuming four video feeds plus one screen sharing. So you can do screen sharing and a lot of advanced things now with the, the Grandstream video conferencing and the Wave app that uh, is built for the 6300 series. Um, so everything, like I said, that the old Grandstream PBXs can do, we can do with this. And you're going to see, too, uh, where they really kept that beautiful interface. That To me, the Grandstream PBX, the UCM interface, is an award-winning interface. It's so clean, and it's, it's almost intuitive for people that don't even understand voice over IP to get in there and make changes to their system. And that's how we train people. You shouldn't have to call us to set up an IVR. Right? You should be able to do all of that yourself. Grandstream makes it super easy. So let's see if we can find this thing on the network. And uh, we'll find it and I will show you the 6300 series. All right, so we found our UCM on the network. We're going to go ahead and log in. And you will notice how snappy this is as well. Uh, emergency calling has not been configured. Click here to configure it now. So it wants to make sure that we know that that... Emergency calling is important and it very is. I'm going to cancel that. 
So you've got the same beautiful dashboard where you get a glimpse of everything that's going on in the system. Active calls, now you'll notice with this new one, remote users number. It'll tell us how many extensions are registered, all of the things that are happening right now. You can see we're doing LAN, uh, PoE. I don't have any of the other uh, power connected besides that. And we've got no USB, no SD cards, no trunks configured yet. But just look how snappy this system is when we go somewhere. So if I click on zero config, boom. I mean, these new systems are quick. Um, and they have to be for everything that they want this to do with Asterisk 16. So here's that UCM Remote Connect that tells us about it. And that's actually um, up here under the system and the TR069. This is how we get uh, connected to that. And this, like I said, it is the, the same awesome, sleek, PBX, it gets better all the time. Um, all of the new things that they've added with the APIs and you know being able to get to the uh, asterisk management interface and all of that, they they are you know keeping it keeping it simple and providing those features that we really need. So um, if you want to see a full setup video on a UCM 6300 series, let me know down in the comments. This one's actually going to get configured. It's going to be out for a client. So. I figure that we're going to take the 6302 for the lab, and that's what we're going to do a lot of our videos on. So let me know what you want to see for the 6300 series besides a full setup. Let us know and uh, you know put it down in the comments, and I will add those videos to my queue. So you know if you need help configuring, designing any kind of voice over IP system, you know give us a ring. Uh, more importantly, go to WillieHow.com, fill out the contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, uh, you can use our affiliate links down below. It's not mandatory. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. Thank you for coming to check out this UCM 6304. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.